Right, and at the Drumgeath Park, and there's a lot of ice. It's like an ice rink. It's, <laughs> it's flooded over and it is just like a sheet of ice. <laughs> I'm going to get that photographed and videoed for you. Um, it's really good for a lot of people and I enjoy it for sledging and stuff. So I'll go up there and get that pictured for you. Right, and at the Drumgeath Park, and this behind me here. That's all, a, that's all a frozen puddle, it's just ideal for ice skating and whatever you like really, sledging, there's a bit of an embankment there where you can get a sledge, a sledge right down this ice bit. Um, this part's notorious for flooding and obviously with the bad weather we've had, it's been a lot of rain and it's now frozen over to this nice square like ice rink sort of thing. I think that must have been done with a lot of people with shovels just to, because they've done a good job of it or it was done using a, a machine um, but it stretches quite a bit because right the way along uh, all this area it's all um, solid ice. I'll turn it around and I'll show you So it's all um, it's all been tidied. They've got the edges all squared off and everything um, all the way along. Let's see, that is solid ice. You see all the ice skate marks, sledge marks, and everything. It's see so whoever's cleared this has done a really good job. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to get this camera on a stand and I'm going to sit it on the ice. I've not got ice skates, so I can't ice skate the same as I'm going to slide it on the ice just to show you my slime a bit on the ice. I'm going to try this, okay? I know a good skater like this. <laughs> this is just a step. <laughs> that was me. Did a wee bit of sliding. I used to do that when I was at the school. Eh? Yeah, we'll just slide a bit. But some of them have actually got ice skates in there. I'm going to be wise in that. Like, a sledging bit would be good for them. Used to, that embankment there is a pretty good run down there on the sledge. But yeah, yeah, a little bit of ice here. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is, as I say, it's the Drumgeath Park. That's the lower white field. So it's on the Dundee's east side of the city, and the Whitfield's there, that's looking out east towards the, uh, towards Douglas, etc. Douglas is up that way, that's south towards the town, and I'll be looking over the west towards McCraigie. That used to be, um, used to be a big gasometer tag there, but that, that's been, that was uh, demolished years ago. But yeah, this is just a uh, drum part. That's the um, that was Fairmere Social Club. It used to be the old drum uh, bar or something. It's a social club now. Uh, yep.
Do you get a nice sledge down there as well, actually? Um, I say they've done a good job, whoever they've done this, eh? They've uh, cleared it out really well. That there, by the way, is just grass, so that must have just been where the water had uh, kept, kept it from too much water to freeze or something, I don't know, but that's, that's actually quite interesting why, why this area there is just unaffected. Hmm. That's a bit odd. Like I say, that's just the grass area for some reason it hasn't been um, frozen over. Um, this bit here seems quite odd, yeah, that's just untouched. I mean, you've got all this snow everywhere. And that bit there hasn't got anything at all. It's just bare. I mean, it's just grass. Oh, how is that possible? Well, everything else is frozen there. I'll show you a bit closer and I'll zoom in. So yeah, it's just bare grass. Nothing at all. Look. It's foot deep snow all, all around this area. It's heading for this patch. I don't get that. So I'm probably standing on the only bit of grass that's available in the whole of Dundee right now. Um, right, so that's me done here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's just showing you where the ice was if you're got to say, ice skates or sleds or anything. Just some exercise on that. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers. Hey, that's me back now. Um, the temperature has dropped quite a bit. It was down to minus two and a half. But earlier on, when I was at that place, that grass area, it was about one degrees. So, it's just what I find quite amazing is that that grass bit that I'd shown you earlier, how did it, how was that grass area not frozen up and covered in snow like the rest of it? I mean, it's not like it was saltwood or anything like that. Um, which is quite unusual, but it's got really cold anyway, all of a sudden. And what I also find quite unusual is the temperature sometimes the temperature could be reading at a low temperature and it won't feel so cold but other times it could be reading higher temperatures and it could be feeling really cold and that is without any wind chill taken into consideration uh, i find that quite unusual i mean today yesterday it was not that far off it was about the same sort of temperature and yet it felt milder but today it was, uh, for some reason, it hasn't, uh, it's not windy or anything, it felt really cold. <sighs> bizarre. But uh, I'll show you the, uh, I'll turn it around, I can show you the temperature. It <laughs> doesn't matter, it's, it's reading minus two, minus two and a half at the moment anyway. But it's, it could get a lot, lot colder than that, but it's just that, um, I find it odd how it could feel cold when the temperature's sometimes milder. It's not the thermometer on the car that's, uh, I mean, it's, it's not that it's misreading or anything like that because it's on different thermometers also and they could see by the the, uh, the way the clearness is um, I and mean, the air could be a lot clearer when it's colder but yeah, it could just sometimes it could feel a lot uh, colder when it's at a higher temperature it's just bizarre that anyway thanks for watching, cheers I thought I'd <clears throat> offer a couple of explanations that I got for the anomalies with the temperature. That sometimes it could feel colder with a higher temperature. You may be experiencing that, and other times you might experience the temperature reading lower, and yet you could feel milder. Now, I spoke to my dad about that, and he's good with science. Um, and he was suggesting that it could be something to do with the moisture that's in the air. Now, if you, if you did the that with the breath, you can see the breath sometimes, that's due to the moisture. 
So that was an explanation that was suggested. Um, when I talked about the grass patch at the Drumkeith Park, the bit that was unaffected, you know, or the snow, feet deep snow all around it. You know, it was snow everywhere, apart from that patch of grass. Now, the dad was suggesting that it could be something to do with the soil constituency underneath the grass that retains the the um, sunlight, the geothermal temperature from the sun. It, it could probably hold it a bit longer than the, un, the other areas. And that might be an explanation as to why that particular grass patch is, you know, still unaffected with the snow and that. It's just clear completely. Um, it's really bizarre to me anyway, so... I, as I say, I just thought I'd add the uh, bits on to the video in case you were... i just give you some of the explanations that I asked them. Um If you've got any uh, explanations, I'd be, like, I'd be interested to know. Because it baffles me. Uh, I don't understand why that would be. Anyway, thanks so much, man.